first half, two minutes. Bit of space on the left-hand side if they can manipulate it here. Playmaker swings it to the left. Hammond caught by Forbes. Goal line top right. Douglas. Hideyama. Dancing feet. Game on! Canada says we're here to play. Cleared away now by Troy Joyce. And now Regan Ware. Moonlight and Ware and New Zealand. Ricky Hart, the Canadians. Hideyama. Beautiful break through the middle here by Douglas. Chased by Karoy. And that's a wonderful piece of defence by Karoy. But look at the way Moonlight is there. Hiriyama. That is brilliant, brilliant play by Canada. What? Five metres out. Hiriyama. They continue to attack and they get reward. Rich reward. And now here is captain DJ Forbes and now Dixon New Zealand Six. looking measured and controlled here Com out comes from Joas to Karoy they're going to try and use his jinking runs gets it away from a standing start but very elusive and makes the space and that is a great start for New Zealand trial Joas has scored it with his heels against the goal lines Hiriyama and that's a Nugget. He's got to watch he doesn't touch that white paint because that's no try there, but he puts it down. Try number four for Canada. Nice he moved again this time. It's Lindsay Haig. He's a speedster. They won't stop him. Hirayama. Jones, K, advantage offside. England are up offside. That time what? Advantage over. K, Bibby. That's the straight man off the bench. For one of their most famous victories, can they get it? Douglas. He's played a beautiful game this weekend. Norton in desperation. Hirayama, full of foul, full stop, great win, Canada to the final. Lucas Hammond, Harry Jones, breaking through early doors for Canada is Matt Mullins, Baker's after him, but Mullins outpaces Perry Baker, and Canada strike first. Can't quite get past Stevie Thomasine. Hammond, across to Jones, what a leader he's been for Canada Sevens this season, Harry Jones. Along to another leader, Moonlight, back to Jones, and Harry Jones is away. And the boy from Capilano Rugby Club will score Canada's seconds under the sticks. It's all Canada. Brings it down for the Look. USA. Backwards. Ball's gone backwards, says the referee, and then it's gone loose. For the left house, onto it for Canada. They've got a third. Neal with the tackle that time. Hands. Let go, That's says the referee. Hands. Play on now. Here's Perry Baker. Perry Baker's in some space. All the pace in the world, but Moonlight showed him the inside. And the prince of wingers, Perry Baker, goes top of the season try scoring charts. That's his 40th in eight events. Look at Bill Pinkelman, urgency from the USA. And Thomasine 
has some open space. Can he get past Hammond? Reaches out. <laughs> Stefan Thomasine. USA have a penalty early, early doors in the second half. They go quickly. Here's Yosefo. Niua. Baker. Moonlight and Hideyama to beat. Baker inside. Too much pace. He's just far too quick. Hideyama steps inside. Just scragged by Yosefo. Still going, Hideyama. Hammond has it. Hammond. He's through. Lucas Hammond from the Toronto Nomads has put Canada back in front inside the final two minutes of the gold medal match in Singapore. Canada, moments away from making history. Ten seconds to go. Hammond feeds the scrum. Hammond feeds the scrum. Back to Hideyama. Six seconds. All he needs to do is run it out. And he will do that. Canada have kicked the ball over the sideline. And they have made history. They have won their first ever cup final in their 140th event on the HSBC World Rugby Seven Series. What a performance in the gold medal match. John Moonlight with the trophy in his hands. Harry Jones and Nathan Hideyama alongside Canada are the gold medal winners at the HSBC Singapore Sevens. They've won their first ever title on the series. What a moment for Canada rugby.